My dad began to eat his dinner at a small table in the kitchen. It had a wonky leg. We had a perfectly good dining room. But dad always said, It's too cold in that dining room. He used an old cruet set. A wedding present. Seemed rather out of place in that wonky kitchen table. But that dining room held far too many memories for him, as though eating there alone was somehow disrespectful to Mum's memory. George Parker, don't you ever taste your food first? I like a bit of salt. It adds flavour. It was not what you call romantic. For the ruby anniversary, he bought a brand new caravan, without telling Mum. When it was delivered, she got quite a shock. Well, one thing's for sure. It's not going to fit on my finger, is it, George? Where shall we go this year, eh, love? There's a nice article about the Norfolk Broads. July issue. Lovely picture of the lavender fields. I hate lavender. It makes me sneeze. Well, where do you suggest, then? Paris. Paris? You can't take a caravan to Paris. I know. Oh, George, think how romantic it would be. Norfolk is good enough for us, love. Yes, George. After Norfolk, they diagnosed Alzheimer's. He had to surrender his licence, and the little caravan was sold to a builder from Nottingham. My mum always said, The day I don't bother putting lippy on is the day I die. He hardly said a word when mum went. When I asked him, he said, I forgot how to cry. I know I should. It only seems proper. But I can't remember. I asked him, Are you angry about Alzheimer's, Dad? What it took away, what it did to your life? And he turned to me and said, Whatever life throws at you, the good and the bad, you just take it with a pinch of salt.